I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I have this love-hate relationship with math. It's truly my least favorite subject. I like history, geography, science, and I can stomach English. But math. Yeah no. No matter how much I try, I still can't subtract fractions. I'm joking of course, but math for me is too complex for a person like me. But it's a double-edged sword, on one hand, math is hard, and dumb and stinky, but on the other hand, math is vital to many fields like programming, something I do care about, but this eternal struggle is softened by the fact that calculators exist. A calculator like many of you know, is a small computer whose only purpose is to crunch numbers into an answer. When I was growing up, I never got to use a calculator for tests, so I was pretty much new to the very expansive calculator market. Before we start on the main subject let me educate you guys on calculator types. Let's go from the most basic to the more complex. The basic 4 function calculator is a simple device, never seeing the horrors of the world. As the name suggests, a 4 function calculator can only do 4 functions. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Sometimes it can do negative numbers, and maybe even square root, but other than that, it sticks to basics. Now we are getting... spicy. Scientific calculators become more complex, allowing for the calculation of exponents, trigonometric functions, powers of 10, fractions, decimals, and variables. While graphing calculators are the cream of the crop. They are scientific calculators that can graph functions and use pretty print displays which allow typing functions based on what they appear as. But they have a function. Programming. Which I will describe to you guys later. But today I will talk about the iconic TI-8X family of calculators. The TI-84 Plus is an upgrade to the TI-83 Plus which in turn was an upgrade to the T-83 which was an upgrade you get it. The TI-83 family is an expansive one. The newest model to the TI-84-3 family is the TI-84 Plus Se Python, that's three subtitles. The TI-84 Plus Se is the newest revision to the family, it's basically an upgraded TI-84 but with an LCD, but the calculators I'll be reviewing will be the normal TI-84 Plus, there is no normal non-plus TI-84 for some reason. In contrast to the TI-83 which had three versions, the normal TI-83, the TI-83 Plus which added flash ROM for upgradability, and a sliver edition which just added more ROM and RAM, but for some reason, Texas Instruments hasn't coded support for that. Released in 2004, the TI-84 Plus has 48K of usable RAM. This is where all the calculator stuff goes. It stores programs, strings, variables, matrices, and all that jazz. The only way to use most archived variables is to either run it through a shell like Mirage OS or unarchiving it. The archive is the 480K usable ROM that holds the archives and various applications offered by Texas Instruments or various third parties like TI Calc or Semitech. The processor is 40% faster than the TI-83+. It supports two languages natively, TI Basic, a primitive form of BASIC, and assembly. More on that later. It supports a mini USB and the TI Graph Link, allowing you to connect to other calculators. The screen is 95x63 monochrome and shows up to 128 characters. Well, it's a calculator alright, it does basic math that you were doing the first grade to college level math. Now I currently can't take advantage of literally 90% of the functions. Also not to mention that I'm terrible at math in generals. So why am I making a video on a calculator? I have no idea, but I'm guessing that in the future you will be using this in advanced math. One look at the catalog will show you all the functions. The TI-84 Plus can graph basic functions, parametric functions, polar functions, and sequential functions. Unfortunately, it lacks computer algebra system also known as CAS, and 3D graphing and like the Motorola and the Teenspire calculators. But Texas Instruments insists that it can be used from high school to college. Check back in 8 years for my second review. 
but regardless, you can do a lot on these, and if math isn't your strong suit then you can use this until college. The screen is like a Gamma Boy, it is monochrome and dark. You can adjust the contrast of the calculator, which kind of help, emphasis on the kind of. At first, I was sad, but to be fair, paper is also not backlit, and I still love it, unless you are graphing or calculating whatever these are, or running a program, the calculator rarely chugs. But graphing is very slow, ironic how a graphing calculator is known for. But like I said, speed isn't an issue. The TI-84 is programmable. You can make however many programs that can fit onto the memory or the ROM using archiving. TI Basic is a variation of some old language called Basic. And it's fairly simple to learn. Many of the commands are simple, but can be used to make simple games like this version of Portal created with the calculator's limitations in mind. But the only truly bad part of this language is that it is interpreted like Python, rather than compiled, meaning that calculators coded in Basic will almost always be slower than assembly. Assembly is the second language. And it is way more complex to learn. You can code it directly in the calculator, but you have to put actual hex codes. And if you make a typo then you get the world's biggest screw you. Now you can connect the T-84 to your computer and transfer programs and whatnot. But you can even download programs and apps to your calculator. One look at TI Calc, and you'll see 1000s of programs ranging from games to math utilities. Texas Instruments also distributes many applications. There are so many compared to the SE models. There's Cellsheet a basic spreadsheet maker. Not a Falio, a simple text editor, a planner, and a ton more. I wish I could talk about all the wonderful things that the TI community has done. There's stuff like shells, libraries, and so much more to talk about what the T community has done. I'll definitely talk about it in the future, but if I did talk about the community then this video would be like an hour long, no joke. Now is the TI-84 worth the $100 price tag? No, not really. Apparently, these things cost $5 to $20 to produce, causing a 50% profit margin. This is even more than Apple, Apple. Now do I recommend you to buy it instead of supporting a multi-billion dollar company, I'll let you come up with the answer on that one. But if you think about it, if you buy it for 9th grade math, and you sit until high school graduation then that's like $30 per year. And the TI-84 is very durable. I dropped it on the sidewalk, and there's barely a scratch, but at the end of the day, I'm 14, not a financial advisor. The TI-84 Plus is a good calculator, I like it, programmers like it, even more than the color models, it's good at math. And thanks to it, I love math now. I finally understand why math is so important to the real world. Before I go, I would like to wish a good friend of mine, Inkling, a very happy birthday. This video was made as a gift to her, and she loves calculators like me. She has a huge collection so I recommend checking her Twitter out, she does a ton of non-calculator stuff. She has left us a message. Uh, h h h h h i like calculator. Well said. Also very big thanks to Semitech, TI Basic Developer, TI Calc, and Datamoth for the wealth of information that was put into this video. This probably isn't my last video on calculators so, if you are interested please subscribe. The next video will probably be about plants v zombies, because I already have a script for that. But anyway, thanks for everything, like and subscribe.